There are many ways we can give feedback to students using Google Docs. In this video, you will learn four different strategies. So I'm going to slide down here and I'm going to look at uh, how the student has organized their jot notes. So I can see here that I really enjoy that they've got their citations here. And I also like that they've been clear about how they are organizing their information. So how am I going to tell them that? Well, I'm going to use the Screencastify video that I just made and tell them that. This is my feedback that I put on the student's work. OK, and I have been able to reference directly what she was doing. So I can now copy the shareable link be there. I can go back to her work, highlight this information and click on this add a comment button. Now what I'm going to do is just drop that Screencastify link right in there. And now when the student comes back, they'll be able to hear my voice talking about the work that they've done. All right, let's say that I really wanted to draw um, information to this particular piece of information. I've already showed you, here's the comment. The comment can also, you can use this button right here, okay? And either way, I can add information and feedback. So what's also cool, if I wanna make sure that the student gets this comment, I'm going to go, um, I'm gonna put the information right there so that the student will get an email that I added this comment. All right, so now I've finished assessing the student's work and I wanna make reference to the rubric that I've included. But maybe I have a student who is not a, a, a very strong reader. So the other thing I can do is use a voice note. So I'm gonna go up to my read and write toolbar. And I'm gonna click on this voice note button. I have a minute to give audio feedback. I really liked what you did here. It was really outstanding work. So now I'm going to, so I recorded it. It's telling me it's recorded by this button. And now I hit insert and it takes a few seconds. And now you can see that there is a, uh, a play button that has now appeared in this comment. But I have to make sure that I highlight something in order to make a, a voice note possible. If I haven't ha highlighted anything, I can't add the voice note. Another way to give feedback in docs is to actually use the suggest tool. So I'm up here at the little pen icon and I'm gonna go down here to suggesting. Now what this basically means is when I go to start typing, I start getting these little opportunities. So I wanna remove this information, it highlights that. I also wanna remove this and I wanna say something intelligent here as well. Okay, so you can see here on the side, it starts adding comments about how I have amended the student work. It also allows the students to see what I've done up here so that I can um, continue to have what the students wrote but they, the improvement 